qualifying conditions as we look to complete the round of 16 and establish our last quarter final on the women's side. And right now we're seeing a finalist from last season. Lakey Peterson absolutely on the attack. Her first turn, razor sharp, hammering down the line, intent on finishing this wave with some authority. Big grab rail float, stomps that, and drives up into the pocket oh. once again. Lakey Peterson, the aggression, the length. Here we go on the replay. Pumping and driving in this first turn. Watch the drive and the power. <laughs> Just gave it plenty. Straight up into a lip. And this is where she had to get some racing down the line done. You see the bottom dropping out there. And she's looking a bit sort of rushed, trying to fit something in. Got the floater in. Got the last turn in. It's the completion. Right behind her, the Australian, Bronte McCauley, who fought a final here last year. Losing out in a very close heat to Stephanie Gilmore. It's high, in fact. And she is showing... But at Jeffrey's Bay, she can be a major contender. She gets a, a solid combination happening as well. Critical turns down that inside and a bit of rushing at the start. That rave was definitely more critical in its nature as we see. Bronte's got more time. Drops into the second turn here. Lovely whip out of the top and into this last turn. Beautiful round snap. Another big number and really digs in. Just drops that head into that turn and pushes that rail hard through that opening manoeuvre. Looking to set up the inside. Very similar. Hey, let's have a look at this first one. Holds it back and then just drives into this first turn. <laughs> that was a great turn. Behind for a little bit, up into a little speed line to try and get some speed down the face. And this inside got all weird and wonky and uh, dangerous and got out of there. So sketchy, those little ones eh, that, that stick to the reef right there on the inside. Yeah, they're super hard to kind of read. They're... The lip kind of drops out every time you do a turn and just hard to fit the timing, but she did pretty well there. So expecting a decent number. Here's that first turn in, in slow-mo for you. Just, you see that rotation of the upper body and it just led so strongly and just drove the rest of the board through the complete arc of the turn. Absolute commitment. Looking in incredible form. Bronte now with an opportunity to seize the, the lead here. Doesn't really need a lot. Keeping it clean at the moment. Taking a time. Great patience and gets that last manoeuvre right. I think when you watch that wave, I feel like it's so similar, Bronte's that is, so similar to the first wave. And as you said on the first ride, the first turn, she built momentum as she went. How tight she can get. Oh, here's Bronte. Pumping, driving on that high line, waiting for it to slow up, gets up into the pocket. Wraps it around, wasn't super tight, so it's more of a snap. That one a little tighter. This last turn's beautiful. Waits for the lift to stand up, gets vertical in it, completes it, and then gets out of there because that dry rock shelf was coming up very fast. Second turn. Again, both those rides were a little bit smaller. They weren't significant sets for the day. And then drives that rail out of the top on the last. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, well, we'll get back to that. Here we go, Ronnie. Lakey. Yeah, Lakey. She's trying to drop 5.6 here to increase her lead. Been on the attack with those first turn options this way, but reeling a little faster down the line. So she's just looking for areas she can place those bigger, more committed turns. Gets out of that one on the inside. Still plenty of time left. Just under 24 minutes to go to improve on that 5.6 if there isn't an improvement and there's a transfer of the priority without an improvement that would be a great thing for Bronte drives out of the bottom, snaps out of the top little pump out of the bottom another one of those snaps, they're just jabs at the lip that one had a little more in it a little more arc, a little more commitment into a little floater here and then cuts out I feel like uh, the surfing that we'd seen on those other ways had more in it, those turns were sort of cut a little short and, and obviously in a steep section of the wave but at the same time when you compare it to the energy we saw on those first couple of rides I feel like that one was a little down and where I was going to go with Strider was on the wind I feel like it, from even when the waves are breaking so you can feel there's more spray than what there was earlier it looks like that wind's picking up from the offshore direction uh breathe stay calm <laughs> <laughs> not like me <laughs> thank you Dave for some of the time to talk to us thanks a lot Pete pretty handy having a, a grim a uh, Masters champion, world champion uh, in your corner. Looks like we've got something coming. It looks like a beautiful set lining Ooh. up at the moment. And let's see if Bronte can get done too deep. Oh, unfortunate right there. Out of position. Oh, Lakey Peterson making the call. <laughs> but uh, she has got the heat win here and it's an important one for her. She wants to maintain pace in that world title battle. But she gets the jump on Bronte McCauley. Gets one back on her uh, after the Corona Bali protected defeat.